guys I'm gonna start playing Kingdom Hearts 1 isn't that awesome um, this is what um, comes up after your very first video of the game after you put it in and you select your difficulty um, I might skip through this a little bit just because there's so much filler here that you guys can watch on your own when you play this game but Literally all I've done at this point is select my difficulty and new level. Now I'm doing normal just because this game on an expert difficulty is not necessarily hard in my opinion. It's just... Well... It takes a lot longer. Like this game is already a 60 hour playthrough if you just own all of it and I I picked the shield because I'm a bleeding heart and I want to save everybody and all the puppies and kitties because everybody deserves to be happy now because of that I usually give up the strength just because I feel like wisdom is so so important like you I'm sorry but you can't have it's always brain over brawn always and when you're on normal the difficulty level is enough that you don't necessarily need all of that strength like you get weapons and depending on what type of fighter you are it, it turns out just fine Yay, another cutscene. On another disc. Oh, that's right. That does change. So, whenever... <laughs> at this point, whichever strength you chose to keep, or to choose your path, if you will, will be the weapon you use during this whole tutorial so like I chose the shield to protect everybody so now my shield is my weapon if you choose win wisdom you use Mickey's staff and strength the sword so I'll just kill all of these guys the little health orbs are the little green boobles Whee! I apologize, I have played this game a lot, which actually leaves me a lot of room for dialogue, so that's kind of nice. <clears throat> and cutscene. Oh no! I will say that this whole series is super story-oriented, like everything that Square Enix does, which is very good in my opinion. I've always liked story-heavy games, just because... It interacts with you more depending on how much you can identify with the character now the thing about that is though like it makes the let's plays a little meh so I'll, I'll probably just leave out a whole bunch of these cutscenes because you can watch them on your own time when you play the game okay I'm just here to show you secrets and stuff but in light of uh, the rancid hyenas having the reveal video of the hyena den, I decided that since I have a lot of Kingdom Hearts merch, that I should probably own up to my name and do a Let's Play on Kingdom Hearts. Now, the version I'm playing is not the HD remix that came out for PS3. I am playing the original Kingdom Hearts for PS1. So, that means I'm using all the original controls, all of it. Do things. I shall examine the door. What's in the box? If it's a severed head, I'm going to be very upset. Another box. I have to say though, as I prepare for um, the Tomb Raider 2 playthrough, 
uh, it's really hard to adjust going back to using analog sticks. Like, really hard. I can smash it like a hammer. Yay! We did it. But now we're on the island. How exciting is that? So now because I'm, you know, on a friendly... What is most important to you? Let's see. Being number one, friendship, my prized possessions. Well, I'm not super materialistic. We'll go with friendship. Of course it's a big deal, you butthead. Let's see. What are you so afraid of? Getting old, being different, being indecisive. You know, I have to say getting old because I'm already pretty different. I don't speak English very well. Um, I'm already indecisive, so I'm not afraid of that. So we'll just go getting old. What do you want out of life? I want to be strong. If you're going to protect people, don't you have to be strong? I just want to be loved. Okay. Sounds good. Let's just do things. <laughs> I shall go down in history as the man who opened a door. I always liked the music of Sleeping Beauty. I never really cared for the story, but I rather enjoy the part where um, her little fairies are baking her birthday cake and whatnot. That is, that is my favorite part of the whole thing. Okay, now we get our menu. Oh, cutscene. Never mind. It's a heartless. I better kill it. Oh, there's, there's a whole fleet of them. Okay. Do things. I will say that the lock-on feature in this game is not entirely useful, at least for the weaker enemies. Like, when you get to, I'll show you later, but when you get to like the first big boss of this game, which isn't really that hard to beat at all, then it becomes easier just because they have a specific point that they want you to hit them at, or if you just want to not miss the little target. That's great, too. It's a save portal! Yay! So we'll go ahead and save, and as you can see, this, the magic portal gave me stairs. New file! And as you can see, by the time I've been playing this, there's a whole lot of cutscenes that I'm going to be skipping for this video, because, quite frankly, you don't want to watch all that. Do, 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 do. I haven't actually tested to see what happens if you fall off the mosaic stairs, but I'm not feeling that kind of adventurous today. Let's see. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Cutscene. Surprise, guys! Magic Big Boss! Fight it, but don't be afraid of it. Just kill it. Kill it with fire. Okay, Big Boss. This is where that whole lock-on thing kind of becomes useful, because now you gotta attack his hand, even though there's Heartless spilling out of the dark pools. Honestly, they will jump into the way of your weapon as you murder his hand, so just let it go. And don't get hit by the heart ray. Pro tip. Which he'll unleash, like, now. They're like homing missiles, if you will. I leveled up! Oh. Ow! As you can see, it did like zero health, so it really has no point. Yay, we beat it! Because cutscene. Hey guys! Okay, all you missed was we introduced did some character introductions and I woke up on the island and I was sleeping on the beach so this is Kyrie. she's basically your heroine of the game and we also saw Riku for a brief second but he is now disappeared as usual because it's Riku 
But now we're collecting things on the beach. I want to say it's for a raft. But we'll talk to Kyrie and she'll tell us exactly. Tell me things. Yeah, yeah, better tell me again. Okay, so we need two logs, one cloth, one rope, and that's it. I feel like I already grabbed a thing. Didn't I grab a thing? Maybe? Items. I did grab a log. Okay, so we still need another log. Pretty sure. I, I don't want to be the guy who has the one raft log. CV portal. So we will save. We'll we'll just override it for now just because Ugh. I don't like all that clutter. I feel like there might be something down here though. Maybe for the raft? No? Okay. I got into the Kingdom Hearts series um by accident. And I say by accident because I was at my local Target, if you can believe it, and they had Kingdom Hearts 2 in the clearance bin for a whopping $5. And so I was like, well, I mean, I see Disney characters, I love me some Disney, I'm down, I'll try it out, whatever. And I fell instantaneously in love. like. From that moment, I needed to collect every Kingdom Hearts game, and I needed to play them all until I simply couldn't feel my fucking fingers. Woo! We got another log! Okay. Do, do, do. For those of you who haven't played the game, this is Riku. And he is... No, I'm not fighting you right now. He basically is angsty. Ugh. It's painful at points, but I'll, I'll try not to spoil too much because obviously I'm doing a let's play so you guys will get to know Riku pretty well and Kairi pretty well is in addition. I, I'm not gonna lie, most of the people on this island are pretty much useless, like Titus and like, you won't see any of them again. They will be distant, faded memories from your life. Oh, look, a rope! Okay. Yeah, but yeah, you do need all of the raft parts in order to continue to the next part of the level, which is where Kyrie is standing. There's a door behind her, and she won't let you in until you find all the parts for this fucking raft. Because logic... I know there's a thing in here. Yay! Alright, so we'll double check our items. Two logs, a rope, and a cloth. Pretty sure that's everything. Let's go ask this needy chick what she wants from me. Do, 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 do. Hello! Oh, she found something for me. Aww. Well, how can I give you the things and also call it a day? Now it's gone. And I think that'll be a good place to stop. So next time we'll pick it up right after we build the raft. <laughs>